up the boxes, rocks, and back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and fun, blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you and for my returning subs and my growing extended beautiful family and the ones that are just coming in. I hope that you're blessed with all the massive abundance that, you know, the universe has to offer you. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Get that notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. I don't know why I got stuff on that. Um, and if you're going to pull up, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gifts and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the videos are very informative to you, or just good vibes that you would love to show love and family or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through trying times and they need spiritual guidance or so if you just need confirmation or validation for your life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share them while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, um, my uh, meditation music I'm using in the background um, is... Uh, let me see, it's messing up on me. Um, abundance is on your is on their on your way. Reprogram your subconscious mind for success. ASMR miracle therapy. Amen. You know we all need that towards our lives. And my video today is Twin Flame 101. Hey Okas, when receiving when finally receiving your your blessings, never forget where you came from and the people that helped you get there. You know, um, growing up and dealing with the things that I've dealt with, you know, if you've been with me for a while, you have known I've been open with things that I'm not too proud of, you know. Um, but I cannot allow the things that has happened in my, my past um, affect me for my future. You know, um, my, my mom's ex-husband, his wife, always used to tell me, you know, what if you become famous one day? Would you want people to know the things that you've been through, you know? Um, you not be, you need to be careful of the things you did. I was like, you know, I'm just like any other person at 20 years old. In my 20s, you know, I experienced a lot of, you know, stupid things that I've done. Even during my teenage years, I did a lot of dumb things that I'm not proud of. But, you know, I allowed myself to be able to experience those things. You know, you live and learn because it's like the stuff that I was doing in my 20s and in my teens, I would dare not to be doing them now. You know, I had a smart mouth. You know, I, I was an adrenaline junkie felt like I was unstoppable, untouchable, you know, um, didn't actually know that my guardian angels, I gave them a run for their money, <laughs> put it that way, but, you know, just being able to do the things that I do, I've, I've humbled myself, you know, um, I, I don't take life for granted, I, I feel like I'm blessed every day, every day that I still have another day here, God is you know, bless me to be able to become a better person than I was yesterday. I don't compete against nobody else's journey. I don't compete against nobody else's, you know, as a person. Um, I don't ever try to match up the situation that somebody else is going through because they might be a successful YouTuber or whatever. Um, I can't never, you know, basically try to compare my life to theirs because I don't know all the trials and tribulations that has occurred in their life, the things they had to sacrifice, um, the things that they just had to walk away from, all those different things because they became the person they are. You know, our our failures, our mistakes and setbacks make the people we are. You know, I, I've had friends that, you know, have worked for Oprah. Um, I have an ex-boyfriend that's on Law and Order. You know, he's been in major movies and stuff like that. And it's just certain people can be get, you know, they can allow certain things like that to get to their head and um, allow them to forget where they come from. I'm that type of person, especially, you know, I'm bad for you. If you did all those things, I mean, I don't want to be jealous of you. I want to be able to commend you for that. But don't ever forget where you came from. Like I tell anybody, yes, I'm, I am Prince's daughter. You know, I've experienced a lot of different things that I'm not proud of. You know, yes, I was on food stamps at one time. Yes, I was on Section 8 at one time. 
I've had my car repossessed. I've been evicted out of my house. I got, you know, check accounts that, you know, I've gotten closed because, you know, there was no activity there. Or I had overdraft because I was of parent wrote checks and stuff like that and they bounced. You know, I've, I experienced all these different things in life. But those different experiences, I never forgot, you know, allowed those things to, you know, affect me from who I am now because my past has made me, it defined me into the, the better person I am now. You know, being able to experience these things, you know, people, you know, came to contact with me is like, Rosalie, you keep it real. You know, I said, because there, there's always another me out there that, is, you know, not another me, but a person that has went through different situations the way they feel ashamed of. Yeah, those are not things that I want to be proud of. Yes, I don't want to jail for shoplifting before because I was sitting up here, you know, doing things to help my kids, you know, doing, you know, making sure I can survive. Those were things I didn't, you know, I, I mean, I'm not proud of. I used to even dance at one time. Um, just to be able to support my kids. You know, I was, you know, I started having kids at 16. My last one is when I was turning, you know, 2021. 20, you know, now my, my youngest is, you know, soon to be 19 and my oldest is 24, you know, and have a beautiful granddaughter, you know, that's on her way as well. But it was just like, you know, being able to do these things, you know, I, you know, my family wanted me to be ashamed of the things that have occurred in my life. You know, I want to be able to bless the people, even the people that walked away from me. You know, I've, it's a sad situation where, you know, there's people that has been in my life for so many years, but when they found out who I was related to, they, they shunned me away or they turned their back away from me. Or, you know, they felt like, oh, you, you're acting different, you're acting brand new because of who your dad is. No, I'm still the person I am. I'm just a better person. You know, um, I allowed myself to see who true friends were. You know, there are certain people that try to block me on my blessings just because of who my, you know, who my father was. And my mom, it warned me about going through things like this. And I did something like, mom, what are you talking about? You know, I'm like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. But mom knew a lot. You know, a lot of us, you know, growing up where our kids were telling us the same thing we told our parents but you know I said I always tell, tell myself no matter you know this situation is not going to allow me to forget where I came from you know I'm very humble you know um, I you have to be careful about how you, the way you treat people because you, you might be able you know people step on people to get up in there you know get above everything and it's just like a lot of times people take for granted what God has blessed them with and you know you have to be able to make sure you stay humble because God can always make you go right back down there are so many people that has took advantage of certain situations that God has blessed them with and now they're just like you know doing things that they they swore and now they would never be able to do again or they wouldn't do you know there was people that have been overnight success and you know it only took one slip of the tongue or doing something that you weren't supposed to do and now you're a nobody as they call it you know i always feel like somebody's always going to be somebody no matter what they're doing you have the same respect you do for the ceo just like you have the same respect for the janitor you know i was always brought up that way you know being able to have the blessings that i have you know because at first when i was going through this i'm just like damn this is what they're talking about when they said you know what if you're famous one day you know it's just like people are known you for that you know i said when people tend to come out to the world about certain things and, you know, TMZ or whatever, they love getting up in people's dirt so they have something to gossip about. Me with well, my situation, I don't let all my dirt out. So what the heck are you going to be able to find on your about me that I'm not saying about myself? You know, there's a lot of things that, you know, I've experienced in life that, you know, I don't don't like talking about I used to be addicted to pills I used to be addicted to marijuana and not addicted to either one of them now and I'm just blessed to be able to do that being able to hit you know being able to deal with a lot of things head on yes it's hard as hell to do that yes there are certain times I wish that I could fall back on weed because it was so much easier to do that but now I'm just like no I'm better than that that's not me anymore you know I don't have to rely on certain things to be able to get through certain issues you know i have to be able to face these things head on being able to allow myself to know i'm very blessed you know there is always somebody who's doing worse off than you you know a lot of times we complain about things that they you know there's people that are very less fortunate that can be blessed with our struggles you know my mom always told me you know just as well as i preach on here as well you know we complain about the things that go on through our lives but if we were all at a table and we can lay our stress and our issues and our frustrations down 
Uh, are you going to pick up somebody else's situation or are you going to, you know, keep yours? And you'll be keeping yours because you already know what situation, how to deal with your situation. It might not be easy to deal with, but you know everything that is, com you know, that is in your life right now. You might not know what is yet to come. But there are certain times we're we're in certain situations to allow those situations to mold us, allow that to be able to allow us to become per, a person or persons, whatever you want to call it, um, as a person that overcomes a lot of things. You know, a lot of hard situations has allowed us to be able to mold ourselves into that powerful person. We never thought we can be able to comprehend to become. You know, we can be praying on something and working our hardest for it. And, you know, we're going through hell and high water just to get through it. And you never know the things that you're praying for. God, I, you know, when he allows us and universe tells us, hey, we need you to leave these certain people alone. Or, hey, we need you to stop doing this. You know, and it's just like, you know, you, you're, you don't understand what they're trying to tell you. Because, you know, the universe and God ask you to put down certain things because they're trying to have you make room for something that they have better that's coming in your life you know we might be going through some hard situations right now where we feel like we're never going to get out of it but if you don't have faith in yourself as well as god in the universe you won't be able to get out of it if you still have that you know that vibe that you're sending out because you have to be careful about the things that you tell yourself like oh i ain't gonna never get out of this situation and then you wonder why you're still staying into it that long you know you have to be able to understand what is the universe trying to teach you out of the situation you're currently in you know what blessings you're heading towards you know, you have to be able to have faith in yourself and not lose focus on the things that you're working hard to get, bring into fusion in your life. You know, you have to be able to do that no matter how dark that situation is. Don't allow the situation you're currently in to be able to stop you from the things you're, you're, you know, you're losing focus on because you have to be able to be, you know, placed in certain hard situations for it to be able to teach you and strengthen you in different levels and layers. You know, a lot of us are going through these things where veils and stuff is getting snatched off a lot of us think in concept there's only one veil that only has to come off no there's layers you know when god universe is allowing you to know a little snippet of the things that you know is occurring into your life they can't unload everything on you at once because you be cuckoo for cocoa puffs so they want you to be able to go through certain situations and then when they feel like you have healed and and, and maturing into the things that they placed you in this time then some more stuff comes out you know there's so many things that has popped off in my life where god has asked me to forgive and i'm just like you're asking a lot and he's like but do you understand the blessings that i'm about to bless you with so what i'm asking you is very petty to what i'm about to bless you with because a lot of times when we go through certain things don't sit up here and say what god is what situation you're in they're asking too much because they're really not you know, and it's just, you know, and I, I get aggravated myself and I tell myself this many times, the most pettiest things, you're making it bigger than what it is. A lot of times we do that. And as soon as I say that, my phone will lit the heck up like, like, yep, you're on the money. You know, there's a lot of times we make our situations way bigger than what it is. You know, you have to really stay humble, you know, with things that are going on. You know, I've seen that on, I think that's the hard man. Uh, he has a motivational speaker you know about people that forgot where they came from because they're all high almighty I know I'm not gonna do that <laughs> you know I you know even though my dad is who my dad is I'm not my dad you know um, people have you know you know treated me way different because of that and I said no I'm just still the girl next door you know it is what it is you know even when my dad was he, he was very humble you know he would even say when it came like to Muhammad Ali, if he was to ask him to come cut his grass, he was like, you ain't even got it. You know, when he wanted something, you know, he would just straight go do it. He didn't care what it was. He was very humble, you know, and it's just a blessing. I want to be able to do that too. So it's just like all the situations we go through, we go through them for a reason. You know, when you finally, you know, I've, I've seen that post a lot of times. It's like, don't forget to, you know, still thank God even after you you get the blessings you deserve because a lot of people fall short on doing that they feel like oh i got it and you know i've even had uh my my um my mom's ex-husband and his wife though 
materialistic situations in my face. I said, y'all are so shallow when it comes to certain things because you're so fixated on materialistic things. God bless you. But you can so easily snatch those things away. I said, you have to be very careful of the things that you push out. And you have to be able to do that, you know, regardless on what is currently unfolding in your life. Knowing you have better that's coming your way. You have to be able to give yourself that chance to be able to see the things that are coming towards your way. But if we're so fixated on that door that God has tried to shut and he had that other one cracked open and all you got to do is just wait to be called in, stay focused on that door that's in the front. Don't be focused on the stuff that's in the back. And when you finally get your blessings that God is going to bless you with, don't, you know, give the credit towards people that were there to help you get there. You know, I have to be able to stay humble for that because there's so many people that I'm helping and while I'm helping them you know I'm helping myself as well you know they're helping me you know understand the things that are going on in my life whether they know it or not there's a lot of time people like Rosalind you just don't know how much you help me and I mean that humbles me and there's so many times you know and if people wonder like dad Rosalind's used to replying real quick you don't understand the impact that the energy you're sending towards me to let me know I've done so much in your life that really allows me to understand why I had to go through my struggles in the first place because for my struggles it's easy to put them on these you know it's not actually easy but I'm being able to vocalize the things that I, I struggle with on a daily basis not every day is positive for me I cringe when I have to make negative videos because I'd rather speak positive than negative but if that is supposed to be a reflection for people to pay attention to certain things that's occurring in their life or certain things that they might be struggling with then I'm gonna go ahead and do that if it makes a purpose that allows somebody to have happiness in their life to be able to see things a little bit more clear you know being able to clarify or just being able to give them that confirmation I want to be able to do that you know because I'm doing that to myself you know never allow you know your situations to allow you not to be humble and know that it's a blessing to be able to be able to have things every day or better things that you've been working hard for you have to remember to make make sure you keep every day you have to thank god i try to thank god a lot because i know there's a lot of things i might not be where i want to be but i'm not the person that just started this you know this journey it, it's molded me into a lot of things where there are certain things i took for granted that i no longer do that you know, I humble myself in so many different ways, and I'm glad, you know, there are certain times that God has blessed me with little things, and I'm like, this is it. And you're like, oh, you know, my mom, let me be like, my mom, oh, little girl, I can easily take it back. You know, you got to be grateful for the little things, because when you're, when God just puts the little stuff in your life, and you show him you're grateful, you're being faithful towards him and his, you know, his message he's placing upon you, the message he wants you to project out towards other people, especially you being an empath that allows you to be able to welcome the bigger blessings that he feels like you're going to deserve as well so make sure you you know you show that attitude of gratitude that you know things that are coming your way so i hope that you have a blessed week and i hope you're able to uh resonate with this you know if this is a sign that you were looking for this is the sign so allow yourself to receive the blessings that you truly deserve and make sure you stay humble and make sure you show attitude of gratitude every time the littlest things as well as the biggest things that they've been able to plan into your life because you know they really don't have to do that if they didn't want to so i hope that you know you are able to be resonated with them give a post notification shout out to uh katie straight much love to you i hope everything is going okay for you um i'm not going to put uh katie's business out there but please you know um leave her family in your prayers they're going through really trying times right now and just send them send her and her family loving vibes um you know we're all struggling to be able to deal with certain things in our lives where we feel like we don't have the strength to endure but when you can be able to give that you know that energy towards other people to tell them to keep pushing don't give up you know things are not as bad as they seem and if even if they are they won't be like this forever i'm um, and continue as well as miguel's uh family as well they're going through trying times too so please go ahead and you know say a good prayer for him and his family as well and send them send them love of strength and you know uplift as much as you can and you know like i said drop a line so i can go ahead and give you a post notification share thumbs up uh subscribe and hit the bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video know that you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days make sure you send out love and light and positivity you never know when your kind words can really take somebody a long way and i'll see you in my next video much love peace